Hello, this is Twitch Schwartz from the Gamescom Fair 2019, and we're right now here at the Indie Booth area. Right next to me is my buddy Flat. Hey, how are you guys? And we're talking about three games, three indie games, which are pretty special. So, which games do you got? Right, so first of all, we have Elden which is an eldritch horror top-down souls-like game so it doesn't have any text or any words the whole story is told through little pictures and scribbles the main character finds as he explores the world so that one's coming out on PC and Switch and Xbox and PlayStation later this year then another game we have is Neverinth which is an anime RPG souls-like rogue-like game <laughs> Woo, that's a tongue twister <laughs> It's yeah. already out in early access, and you take a role as a fallen Valkyrie, and you get summoned to this mystical labyrinth, which you have to traverse and die and get reborn and die again as you uncover your lost memories and figure out what happened and why did the gods die. Uh, and our third game is Jackax, which is a four-player co-op hardcore platformer with a specific axe element where kind of similar to like God of War we can throw the axe and then you can teleport to the axe and it also gives you a little bit of a memento so you need to put that into your calculations when you're doing the platforming so it's kind of like super meat boy type of hard but with extra mechanic added on top of it and it sounds so nice I mean we we can see some screens of it right now and um, what do you think is the most special thing about well, about um, every each game, what's the what's the main part of it where you where you would say, okay, that's the point. Gamers get ready for something new. Well, with Jack Axe, the game is gonna kick your ass because of the platforming elements and the the, the momentum mechanic that you, you there's no like clear indication how it works. I mean, so you need to judge for yourself. So it's like a lot of trial and error. And the thing is, like, you four players online, you can play with your friends. And it's all female protagonists. So it's like, hey, strong woman wielding an axe. Um, for Elden, the allure of that game is the uncertainty of what you're getting into because it doesn't guide you. It doesn't tell you the story in a, you know, conventional way for, like, cutscenes or anything. So you have to figure out for yourself what happened. And it's always, like, the gleaming cosmic horror, like, in the back of your head. Um, so it's mostly uncertainty and unknownness, so that's playing into the fear. Oh, uh, sounds pretty exciting, I think. Yeah, nervous. yeah. Um, so I heard that, um, that that every game is uh, ready for PC, yeah. and which one of those games are, are also will be published for other systems like PlayStation, so Nintendo, or Elden, and Jackax. They're going to be on Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. Neverint is only PC right now in early access, but once we leave early access, depending how that goes, we're gonna we want to port it to like Switch and PlayStation and Xbox as well. So how about the release dates of all three? Well, Neverint is already out in early access, so go buy it. Uh, Elden is planned to come out in December this year on all platforms, and Jackax is coming out next year also on all platforms. Okay, so one last maybe tricky questions. Oh boy. No, just it's just one. Um, which one of those three do you prefer? Oh, uh, for me personally, uh, I really like Neverend because my, my my type of game where I, I like the beat 'em up, hacking slash roguelike. Elden is more of an atmospheric adventure. You like you sit down, you play through the game, and you don't sleep for a few weeks. And Jack X is just too damn hard for me. I'm really not good at platforming games. The game is fun, but I can't get past the first boss. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also, but I heard it's also good for parties or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can play it with shots. Like you take a shot every time you die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's get ready for the next drinking game. And um, yeah, Vlad, very, thank you very much for this interview. Oh, thanks for w having me. Yeah, and yeah, have a good time at the Gamescom and. Get ready. If you're here at the Gamescom, check out the Indie Booth at Hall 10.2 and check out these games. Beautiful and interesting. See ya. Bye. Bye.